In a small business like most dental practices, the negative effect of a single disgruntled employee is magnified. You can see this very recently. A dentist not too far from me near Indianapolis was accused of extracting a patient's entire mouth under sedation. Now, the claims have turned out to be completely false, but that one unhappy patient was enough to cost that dentist 15 new patients a month, according to him. I'll tell you how to head this off right after we return. Welcome to the Patient Attraction Podcast. I'm Colin Receiver. Now, my dad is a very successful dentist, and I spent a lot of time in his practice growing up. My company now, we work with over 550 dentists on three continents to help them attract more and better patients. And I get it. I get what it's like to work in a dental practice. I've grown up doing it all my life. I've seen what can happen when a practice has a poison employee or a poison patient. That obviously unhappy employee is usually pretty easy to spot, but quite a few employees, they hide their dissatisfaction while they're in turn killing your practice. They're a poison pill. Here's four non-obvious signs to watch for. First, conversation increases or decreases significantly. A practice has a sort of baseline of conversation. And a change from that baseline means that something else has changed to cause that. Second, conversations become more private. If you find people are talking in low tones with their heads together, or they break off conversation when you're near, it could be a problem. People are talking about the negative employee, but not to you. Third, the tension level in your practice rises. Negativity is hard to be around, and it takes a toll on everyone. Fourth, tempers get shorter. If you suspect that an employee is poisoning your practice, you must take immediate steps. Watch who's not included in the private conversations or invited out to lunch. Talk with your practice manager if he or she isn't the problem. Get feedback privately from your employees and ask for specifics about that employee's behavior and attitude. Sit down with that poison employee. Air what you've learned. Have the uncomfortable conversation. It's your practice. It's your money. It's your business. You owe it to your employee to have the uncomfortable conversation. Sometimes employees have a reason to be disgruntled. Sometimes you just need to start that disengagement process and they need to find another opportunity that better fits them. The success of your practice may depend on taking steps to eliminate that poison employee. Now, speaking of success, if you're interested in finding out how Dr. Raleigh Peock went from 800,000 in collections to over 3.4 million in one of the most competitive markets in the country, check out his case study we just finished at peockcasestudy.com. Tune into the next podcast, and until then, keep moving forward. Whoa.